Welcome back. Out for a little ride this, uh, this, this afternoon. And I just finished the first 1,000 kilometer oil change. And I just want to give my first impressions of the bike after the first 1,000 kilometers. And really I have nothing super negative to say about the bike. Uh, I've had no major issues. I've had no major uh, breakdowns or mechanical issues at all. Uh, and the bike's been good as far as the fuel economy. Uh, I think it's after the first thousand kilometers. I think I've spent something like thirty bucks, uh, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I've had to put no additional money in into the bike except uh, gas and the oil change that I did. I've done uh, both highway, dirt, street, uh, trail riding with the bike. And it's been able to handle all trains that I've uh, given it so far with no, no issues. And the only things I can really say negative-ish about the bike is one, the front tire. I'm not, uh, not impressed with the front tire at all on gravel and loose dirt, it feels like it's going to give way. And I've, I've heard other people say the same thing. So I think it's the the OEM tire itself. It's the brand. And maybe it's more so that it's more of a street, but it's it, it has aggressive tread to it. So that's one thing, is the front, uh, front tire. I, uh, when it wears out, I'm not gonna run out and buy a new front tire. This one's still good. I'll just be cautious of its limitations and adjust my driving accordingly until uh, it needs replacement. The only other thing is I'm not overly happy with is the rear suspension. It feels very, I wouldn't say soft almost, uh, but it doesn't really want to, it doesn't feel like it wants to stick well uh, on bumpy areas. I'm not planning on doing jumps, so I'm, you know, I'm not expecting it to, to be an off-road racer, but I expect it to keep its footing uh, over rough sections. And it does seem to, to jump a bit. Uh, I can feel it right there, it, it jumps. So that's, that's more of a, a bigger issue. I'll say, and that's one that will you know will take more money to address if I do I do decide to to modify the rear suspension, uh, and that's something I'm thinking about. But I'll have to wait and see. So besides those two things, I really have nothing negative to say about the bike. It has the power that I need to do what I want to do. Uh, it has the handling handling. Uh, of the driving I've done, you know, I'm not a, a racer, so I'm just an average guy driving average stuff. So it's been able to handle everything I've thrown at it, uh, and it's passed with flying colors. Like really, besides those two, one minor issue, one more of a major issue, I would say, but you know, it 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 can handle the bumps, the rear rear suspension. Uh, and eventually, like I said, I'll, I'll probably look at uh, addressing that as a aftermarket upgrade or modification. So, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as happiness after the first 1,000 kilometers, I'll give it an 8. And uh, fuel efficiency, I'll give it a 8, 9. Uh, handling for my driving... I'll give it a seven because of the rear suspension. Sometimes jumps, and overall, after first thousand kilometers, I couldn't really couldn't be happier with the bike. I think I made the uh, good choice in the bike that I picked, and uh, hopefully for the next uh, what next thousand, couple thousand kilometers, it will uh, continue to. Uh, 
provide the experience and joy that it has so far. So if you have other things that you've found on your first thousand kilometers, you know, leave it below in the comments. And as always, enjoy your ride and have a good day.